On April 13, 1944, Commander Sam Dealey and his crew face a Japanese destroyer in the South Pacific. In three war patrols, they have already sunk 10 Japanese merchant ships, but they have never beaten a destroyer, a type of warship that carries depth charges. Depth charges are syndrilical canisters about two and a half feet. They're triggered by an orifice that, that allows seawater to come in, so that when a certain amount of seawater actually gets in, it triggers the depth charge to explode. Packed with up to 325 pounds of explosives, they're rigged to sink submarines. Just before 7 p.m., Dealey decides to attack instead of evade the destroyer. Ready, tube two. Two ready. Fire tube. Two on the way. At some point, he realized that when he was being pursued by destroyers, instead of waiting for them to depth charge him, he could shoot back. Stand by three. Fire three. Three on the way. A bubble trail from Dealey's steam-powered torpedoes will give away Harder's location. Fire four. If the offensive fails, the, the destroyer will know exactly where to find them. Harder's skipper sinks the escort before it can drop a single bomb. More than two years into the Pacific War, only 14 Japanese destroyers have been sunk by American submarines. Dealey joins an elite group of submarine officers daring enough to accomplish this exclusive feat. The success emboldens him 